Hi friends, welcome back to ARC Tutorials. In previous episode, we learned about NGIF. This is Angular 9 full tutorial series and in today's episode, we will learn how to use NG switch. If you are coming from any programming background, you would have used switch case and default, right? So the NG switch is similar to that uh, logic or I would say the behavior of it. We will have an expression which we will evaluate with different options. Based on that, we would show some kind of output, right? We will learn all about that in this tutorial. Let's get started. My name is Sridhar and I have over 10 plus years of experience as a full stack developer. I bring knowledge on both front end as well as back end technologies. I am here to share my knowledge with you and also to learn from you all. During the course of these tutorials, if you have any doubts, any queries, any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So please support me by liking this video and also by subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much in advance. Let's get started. So far in the Angular 9 full tutorial series, we have seen all these tutorials. Uh, we have starting from basic to advanced in terms of modules, decorators, components, directives, ng if else, and then in the last episode. And in today's episode, we will learn about ng switch. So, what is ng switch? So, ng switch is a built in directive that starts with the asterisk symbol, just like ng for, ng if. Very similar to switch statements that you have used in any other programming languages. It allows elements to be shown or hidden based on a condition, right? Unlike if statement, switch can take multiple value parameters. When we write if else, right, conditions, we write if a condition is true, show something true, else false statement. So it's basically true or false or Boolean value checks. With switch, you can pass multiple values. You can compare five or 10 values or 20. We can also define a default action for switch. For example, if you provide 10 values, if it doesn't match anything, do the default, right? So there are three important elements or of ng switch that we have to understand. The first is ng switch. And then we have ng switch case. And then finally, ng switch default. So Angular, to work with ng switch, you need to use these three uh, directives that we learn now. All right, so I'll give you a simple example first. Um, so we write a div, it has ng switch, and it will take an expression. Then we will write the div matching conditions to match the expression, right? So this is a default uh, syntax that you're seeing. Now it's time to get started and see some practical. Let's learn in practical how to do that. Now, open it, I'm going to make some notes as always that we make tutorial number 12 and today we are learning angular ng switch all right okay all right so first thing uh, we have to make use of ng switch which is a built-in directive right it starts with asterisk uh, the switch cases basically ng switch case so it will start with asterisk sign uh, it's used to compare uh, more than one expressions at a time I would say uh, because in unlike unlike ng if which usually resolves to true or false slash boolean values uh, we can have we can have multiple checks we can have multiple checks in ng switch right all right so now let's do some hands-on example and let's learn this okay so i'm going to go to my app component there is a ng switch let's put a div first simple div right and then we are going to put a condition here and inside this let's put some more um, so for this we'll give ng switch right equal to expression which is nothing but the expression that you want to compare 
now I'm going to call it here uh, switch value you can give any name you want here that doesn't matter okay so now this will say you that it's not defined so let's go to our component and let's equal to 2 right so you can assign any value you want it can be a string it can be a string we can say 1 2 3 you can pass an integer you can you can pass basically value right then go to app component dot html and here we'll write div statements here we'll write ng switch case right so this is how we will tell the values that it has to take now the here uh, first or I'll say um, value passed is one let's copy this couple of times and let's say two let's say three let's say four right so we have a ng switch where we will take the value and then we will now define the expression here to compare it like how we'll do it here right so we will give it a expression and then just map it so you can say equal to 1 equal to 2 equal to 3 equal to 4 so he, what we are doing here is we are saying that there is a ng switch that means we will get a value here and check if it matches any of this values if it matches show that particular value now let's see that in our output I'm going to put localhost 4200 all right so it says the value passed is 2 because we pass the value as 2 here now I'm going to change it and make it 3 now you will see the value passed is 3 right that's because it first goes into the switch value here the value is assigned and ng switch will check in each of these whether it is matching with this cases right now you can do the same with strings let's say I'm going to call it here 3 now it is not matching with anything right which means that now there should nothing be in output there is nothing in output so that's where we will design ng switch default so what this does is this is the default value so now what we are telling is when nothing matches when no condition matches do execute the default so you see this is the default value because we are passing a string which is 3 and here we are checking if any of the values are matching if no value is matching then use the default switch so these are the three th important things that you should know about uh, ng switch which is ng switch and then you should know about how to use ng switch case where we will mention about the conditions or the use cases or expressions that we need to check or I would say the check conditions right and then we will also mention the ng switch default what it should do should do when no condition is matching right by default what it should do that is what we just learnt it in ng switch ng switch case and ng ng default now I'm going to change since we are passing three here let's so I just want to show you that this can also be done dynamically for example let's do an object uh, I'm going to throw in an object and let's just call it users right and let's make it an array and then here I'll call ID one <coughs> comma name comma say John right then again I'm going to call it here and I'm going to call two, and then I'm going to call here and I will say Jackson right so let's just make it here and then let's map it into an object quickly right and unnecessarily quoted ID found 
fix unnecessarily okay so this doesn't require an id so let's just get it done here and instead we'll make it an array and we'll make it an array object here we'll make it here and we'll close it here okay so this we have closed we don't need this now we are good uh string coded uh unnecessarily coded so let's unnecessarily fix it uh okay since it's a key value pair uh let's just close it here so this is good for now right a basic one right a basic just an object that we are defining called users now <clears throat> we can use this to loop also <clears throat> which we will use it in the next uh, episode when we learn um, ng4 so stay tuned for that uh, but for now understand that if you pass anything like a string you can pass here this <clears throat> so you can pass anything it doesn't matter you can pass a string you can pass a uh, any checks you want to pass you can easily get it done all uh, right uh, error occurred let's see what's the uh, we are doing three and here it should be in single code because it's a strings let's see this quickly let's fix the value okay so now it's compiled successfully so now we are seeing value passed is three right so <clears throat> since it's a string it's it's in double quotes and inside that i have the single quote so <clears throat> so we can pass any value can be integer can be string etc uh, we can read the value dynamically also right we can read the dynamic value also that we will learn once we learn the uh, ng4 in the next episode <clears throat> and then important thing is where you make mistakes right where we make mistakes so we usually make mistakes in missing out on putting asterisk star right so remember most of the times you will end up finding yourself not putting asterisk so make sure that you do that in further string values put the single quotes inside double quotes that's important uh, put the correct quotes right for the strings and also when using switch when using switch remember it's a built-in directive so it should be ng switch uh, lookout for the case sensitivity right sometimes we'll miss out on that here you will write small s it will not work and all that okay so these are the notes about ng switch i hope you are liking this video if you do like please like this video give a thumbs up in the next episode we'll talk about and learn about ng4 i hope you are liking the video please like this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me thank you so much